Hello students, I am solving IIT Jam 2017 question paper. This one is the third video. I am solving from question 7. And uh, this one is F1, F2, G1, G2 are the differentiable functions on real plane and Fx is this given. Okay, so a 2 into 2 matrix given be the determinant of the matrix. So they have asked the differentiated value of the given matrix. So there is a special rule we will be following. So Fx is this. So f dash x is nothing but the derivative of the first two, okay, then the derivative of the second. So let me do that. So f1 dash x, f2 dash x, g1 x, g2 x. You keep the first row changed and the second row unchanged and then you change this row unchanged and you go for the derivative in the second one that's it so now afterwards what you can do is uh, this one is not changing but these can two can be interchanged so f1 f2 gonna come over here and g1 g2 if you see the options then b is exactly matching with our structure just by changing if we can change the transposing the structure it doesn't matter in case of determinant so our p is the answer okay so this one is a uh, easy to solve uh, let's now proceed to question number eight of jam 2017 okay remember that these kind of questions are also useful for solving isi math uh, as well and cmi entrances Okay, so now we have fx and a mod x, mod always gives problem, okay, and sine of 1 by x, and uh, they have also given the limit portions, and which of the following is true. So it's about the existence of the structure. These kind of questions are relatively challenging than the other part. So what we are doing is I am going to solve everything not on a hint basis. So I'm going to write the given functions. It's already written. So what we can write from here is... Uh, this function can be written as 1, we can take common mod x, 1 plus 1 by x and sine of 1 by x. Okay, so now L is already given limit, uh, x tends to 0 minus fx. So here we are putting this function over here because this was fx. So limit x to, so here we are replacing with x is down to 1 h so h tends to 0 1 plus mod h 1 minus 1 by h right and sine of minus 1 by h so it take can take any value between minus 1 to plus 1 and uh, for r which is also provided so limit the positive right hand limit 0 plus f x okay so limit x tends to h tends to 0 again replacing so this will be replaced by 1 mod h and 1 plus 1 by h sine of 1 by h so this also lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so actually there are no exact no hence we write it with a different color. So red is becoming so monotonous. I would like. Hence, here, in neither left hand limit LHL or right hand limit exists. So, we can say that option D is the correct answer. Okay? So let's now go to the next one with a new color. Okay, we should give some more colors in order to make it some interesting videos. Okay. Okay. Now question number nine is on the basis of an integration again. So limit t tends to infinity, zero to t e to the power minus x squared is pi by two. So then on the basis of that they have asked it for a different value. So what they have newly introduced is they are going for e of x square and rest of the thing only this term is newly taken into consideration. So if I start my question with this, so this part will be minus half will be outside as we know limit this part is t tends to infinity 0 to t 
x minus 2x e to the power minus x square and our very old friend dx is there. So if we just do it minus half and the derivative passes x into e to the power minus uh, this will be x square and bracket close 0 to infinity and minus 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square dx. That's it. So we just put the values and remember that this whole part is given as root pi by 2 so I am putting it minus half is common and this whole thing is 0 minus root pi by 2 so this thing is whole thing becoming root pi by 4 okay so if it seems to be I am doing it relatively faster so I am going for a repetition here I have replaced the value from this okay here I have replaced the value from this area and now afterwards you are just putting the values okay so our option correct option a is yeah a okay rest of the thing okay i can do one more question over here yeah question number 10 now what question number 10 says so they have given fx 1 plus x where x is positive and 1 minus x into this where x greater than equal to 0 and it satisfies the assumptions of the rules theorem in the interval this. So the ordered pair of PQ. So remember that ordered pair means 1, 6 and 6, 1 are not same if they are saying ordered pair. Okay. And you know rules theorem that the differentiable f a and a b. So there has to be a point C where f a and a b are equal. So fx is given like this greater than and less than. So all the parts are three. Okay. So this lies between minus 1 to 1. This is done so obviously this function is continuous as well within this particular interval okay now afterwards what happened is this at x equal to 0 okay at x equal to 0 remember that at x equal to 0 doesn't mean it's uh, origin 0 f of x is limit x plus fx equal to f of 0. So right hand limit and left hand limit satisfies this. So limit extends to 0 minus 1 plus x. Limit extends to 0 plus 1 minus x. And this part is px plus q. Okay, into 1 minus x. So this part I have done. So we can write 1 equal to q and that is our first part. And fx should be differentiable in minus 1 to 1. So obviously f does 0 minus is f does 0 plus. So 1 equal to p minus q. And as obviously we got uh, this value. This is 1. Q equal to 1. So putting it we get p equal to 2. So the ordered pair is 2 comma 1. That's it. Okay. So rest of the things in my next video. Thank you.